Hello, school directors. Welcome to week three of WASDA in session. I am excited to be here with uh, Senator Tawana Nobles to hear about her experience in the legislature thus far and how her school director role has helped her to get here. Um, in case you don't know me, I'm Logan Endress, your strategic advocacy coordinator. And Senator Nobles, would you introduce yourself, please? Yes, absolutely. Hello, my name is Senator Tawana Nobles. Um, I also serve as a school director on a university place school board, but I'm a mom and a wife and a community member and someone passionate about service and servant leadership and happy to be on the on the show today. <laughs> well, thanks for being here. Um, let's jump right in. Um, Senator Nobles, how is your first session going? Um, and, and with that, is there anything promising or inspiring that you'd like to highlight? Yeah, thank you. Great question. It is going well. I was just saying to my team last night, we had our first listening session or public event last night with um, roughly 90 people who attended, about 150 um, who registered. I gave my first floor speech on a resolution, not the same as floor speech on, um, on a bill, um, have dropped six bills, have made several new relationships, um, sponsored a local uh, capital project here in my district, and I'm just moving. I feel like um, while remote session has its challenges, I can't see my colleagues in person. It definitely um, still calls for the work of the legislature, and when you're new, um, or if you're returning, you simply have to hit the ground running. And so I still don't know a lot of things. And I think that's something that's promising. I will learn it. Um, but the work is very inspirational. I mean, we are working really hard as um, a body to um, find any type of solution to recover from this pandemic. Um, we're working really hard to talk to constituents, working really hard to get information out about vaccines or ask really tough questions that we're hearing from our constituents. So it's going well, I'm staying engaged, I'm learning a lot about different issues. And honestly, just um, still very excited about our event last night and I look forward to our town hall in February. Well, that's really exciting and know that WASDA is here to support you as you navigate your new role, uh, especially on K-12 ed issues. Um, so how, how did, or, uh, did, or in your case does, um, your school director role help prepare you for your new role in the Senate? Yeah, really great question. Well, it definitely gave me experience as an elected leader. Um, I knew how to run for office. Um, I also um, had experience um, with policy, creating policy, reading policy. Um, definitely uh, my experience on a school board has helped me to understand ways to communicate and stay connected to community and centering the needs of community. And I know that my time as a school board director has helped me to feel confident in my ability to work as a team. In the state legislature and on a school board, an individual is not in charge. The body is in charge and we have to work as a team. We have to make decisions as a, as a team. We do a lot of bipartisan um, work. We work across party lines. We really focus on the needs of community and um, being a school board director gave me a lot of that experience. And you know, on the school board, it's nonpartisan. So we definitely focus on the needs of our students. We put students first and I bring that experience and that centering to my new job as a state legislator, as a state legislator. <laughs> <laughs> That's great perspective. Thanks for sharing that. Um, and lastly, how can school directors support your legislative priorities this session? And are there any in particular that you'd like to highlight? Absolutely. Of course, I am prioritizing education. I've already dropped um, a few bills and I'll mention them a little bit later, but please um, support the work that I'm doing around education, pandemic recovery, environmental justice, transportation, mental health, um, supporting survivors of domestic violence, as well as law enforcement accountability. Please take a look at Senate Bill 5184, which focuses on establishing an on-site point of contact for our youth experiencing foster care. Um, if folks have not already listened to my testimony, I shared my experience in foster care and how multiple points of contact were key to my success. And the fact that I am a state senator who's dropping a bill that will impact youth in foster care, and just 25 years ago, I was in foster care myself, is a major 
testimony, but community members, the village, these points of contact that we're really trying to implement in our schools were critical in me being able to have this opportunity today. And I'd also like to highlight Senate Bill 5321, which is providing additional access to the college bound scholarship by auto enrolling students. Um, several of my own children have applied for the college bound scholarship and my oldest daughter enrolled at UWT and um, you know debt free because of funds like the College Bound Scholarship. And I wanna make sure more students have access. And because the auto enrollment worked for students during this pandemic, seventh grade students who are now in eighth grade, um, we're working really hard to continue that auto enrollment and make sure that we're checking for any gaps. Um, and it's a seamless system so students can have their college education funded. But those are just a few bills. I'm continuing to work really hard. I serve as vice chair on two education committees. So please just you know track the work that we're doing, continue to testify. It's been so great to see Waza at the table in a different capacity, um, not just at the legislative conference. Um, so thank you all for your work and I look forward it to a long-standing partnership. Well, thank you, Senator Nobles. It sounds like a great and important set of priorities this session. Uh, we appreciate your time, uh, spending some time telling school directors about your role, uh, and look forward to continuing to work together this session. Thank you so much. It's so good to see you, Logan. Thanks for having me. Thank you. You're welcome.